Four, I think the doors are wide open. There are big, big fights there to be made. So uh, much uh, congratulations to Jarlo, but much congratulations as well to J-Rock. He fought a great fight. He came to fight as, as we all knew he would. He got caught and there will be another night. He's a great, uh, great, great young fighter and I have no doubt that he will become world champion. No doubt. It's those fights tonight which are a learning experience, so there will be another night. So, uh, if you guys have any questions for either one of the fighters, please uh, get started. Jamal, you talked about unification afterwards, but you got a brother who's got a belt, so obviously that's going to be either unification or the rest of will never fight for your style. Um, I'm not going to fight my brother in no time in my career, so I would never be able to unify a title with my true brother. Have you cooled off a little bit? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you know, learning experience. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Hey, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mohamed Mubarak with the Electronic Urban Report. Congratulations. Thank you. <clears throat> this fight, it had to turn out to be something tougher than you thought it was going to be. Uh, I hadn't fought this guy before. So, what was going into your thinking when you first stepped into the ring with this guy? And then you cracked him. Tell us what was going through your mind. I knew he would be a good, strong fighter, and I mean, he kept me on my A game. And uh, I mean, what more can you say about a fighter that's undefeated and he's winning? And um, you know, he talked the talk, but you never know if he could walk the walk. Like I said before, we never know. So we're gonna stay ready, and we're gonna make sure that we on our A game. And, Get me on my head and tell us. I mean, that's the only thing I can think about. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. I'm just curious. Um, one of J Rock's teammates from the snack uh, group is Demetrius Andre, and he's in the room. Mm -hmm. Is that a fight you'd entertain in the future? Uh, most definitely. Um, I'm out here to fight the best in the world, you know. Um, like I like I said before, I, I haven't dodged anyone and everyone that um, they put in front of me. I just tend to do my job. I'm not a matchmaker or any of that. But uh, of course, I I, um, I heard the name before. He was supposed to fight my twin brother, and, and that didn't work through. But you know, one day, I guess you know, when the terms get right, and um, we can work something up. Next question. Go ahead. Question. Just, just so this is the Demetrius Andre guy you're talking about? I thought you were not going to do that. You said yes today in the interview. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, congratulations, brother. Don't, it ain't even like that, man. You did what you had to do. I respect everybody that stepped into the ring. I'm not coming here being disrespectful. What I have to say is, when do you think we can make that happen? Soon. I mean, soon as your team and uh, you get, you know, your stuff together, you know, I, I, I don't know about, I'm not a matchmaker, bro. If, when it comes to time and, and it's time, for the, time to fight, I'm not dodging nobody. I'm not dodging anybody. You're undefeated too, right? You know. All right. You know everything about me. Oh, I do? Yes. Honestly, no. yeah, I don't you, study, do. you guys don't are still anybody. underneath me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. See, all right. I'm off that. We can definitely make. This well, you know, we're going to see. We're going to see. Hey, yo, J Rock. Yo. I, I appreciate saw you, you yesterday. You gave an interview. You was going for too, right? Excuse me. I appreciate J Box stepping up to the plate and um, fighting another 150 fighter and 154 pounders. That's the. That's J Box. Yeah. Cool. Clown, bro. You're a clown. Hey, Julian. Julian, I'm not at 154, I weigh 220, I don't box, and I'm a white guy. Yo, over here, man. What's going on? Um, a lot of us, everyone I was sitting near had it, I think, 2-2 uh, going into uh, the last round of the fight, as it turned out, uh, really even. What were you seeing when you were successful in the ring? Okay, guys, calm down, okay? So please, start again. All right, thank you. Okay, hey. Okay. Um, 
Julian, what were you seeing? I mean, there, there were, it was 2-2 as far as we all thought, uh, and we thought it was, it was close. So what were the openings that you were taking advantage of? And what were the things that maybe, in retrospect, you overlooked a little bit? Uh, I just think I overshot on my right hand, and he, and he rolled off of into uppercut, and I didn't see it. You know, he couldn't move a good shot, and I got up, but I didn't, I didn't think I had my legs together. I think I maybe jumped up too fast. I should have let some oxygen get in my head. But sometimes, you know, that Philadelphia come out of me. You know what I mean? But uh, right, man. What were you seeing? Because it looked pretty even, obviously, until that. Until that. Um, first off, I wanted to give um, Jamal Charlo and uh, Ronnie Shields their props. It was a, uh, you know, it was a lot of negative things that were being said. There's a lot of people that you know. I told Ronnie after the fight. I said, man, I got a lot of respect for you because it's people that don't serve a purpose on either guy's team that's acting all crazy and stuff. You know, we made a lot of money tonight. These kids are sportsmen, they putting their life on the line, and people doing a bunch of dumb things, and it makes us, it makes us all look ignorant, and it makes us look stupid, and we're not here for that. You're supposed to conduct yourself with some class, you know, and Jamal and Julian shook hands, you know, so I want to just first give them a lot of props for taking the fight. It was a tough fight. Nobody knows what's going to happen in a fight like this, because if you do, everybody hit the lottery the next day. I also told Julian, I said, man, listen, if we would have won, we'd be at the press conference high-fiving, we'd be happy. So if you lose, we got to go stand up like men. We're not getting on the bus. We're going to go congratulate them like we're supposed to do. Um, I saw Julian was sharp. He was doing what he was supposed to do. He got caught with a shot, and I think it took his legs away from him. You know, Jamal is a really, really strong kid, and he hit Julian on the point of the chin in the second round and took his legs from him. And um, I don't think he ever got his legs back. I thought he was winning rounds, but his legs wasn't up under him. So that's why he was fighting like that, because your natural instincts come out when, you, when, when, when you're hurt. And I don't think he, he knew he was hurt, but I knew his legs was a little bit gone. And um, while Julian was winning rounds, the sand was running out of the hourglass. And he fell in, he overshot a right hand and Jamal shot an uppercut. I seen Jamal working on that shot on the pads, and I was telling Julian, I said, man, listen, you're gonna try to shoot an uppercut. You gotta keep your weight on your back foot. He overshot a right hand, and Jamal hit him on the money, and it happens in boxing. You gotta live with it and, you know, move on, but Jamal's better than we thought he was. I give him full props. The kid can fight, you know, and um, Julian gonna have to show his willpower. He showed a lot of heart tonight. He's going to have to come back and be mentally strong and get over this, and I think that he uh, can. But Jamal's a, Jamal's a great fighter. Well, he was a great fight. Thank you. Uh, this question is for Richard. Um, Richard, who conducted the drug testing for this card, and do you guys have any plans in the future to partner with VADA and the testing program that they're doing? Well, we have uh, worked before a couple of times with Vada, and then we have uh, worked with USADA as well. Right. So uh, usually USADA does the drug testing. Is that who did the drug testing for this car? USADA? I don't really know who. who uh, was it USADA? Yes. Yeah. It's California. Just California. Just this California. Just the state yeah. commission. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Questions for Julian. Uh, Julian, going into this fight, uh, you knew what was at stake, and you seem to have your focus. Did you, at some point, feel like you got out of focus on the second knockdown? No, I just think I think I jumped up too fast. You know, uh, I was extremely focused. We trained really hard. We had a really good camp. I don't really had no excuses. I don't live by the excuse. You know what I mean? I think uh, he couldn't with a good shot. It was a close, tight fight. Uh, I think before the knockdown, I was winning, but he couldn't with a shot. You know, and uh, I gotta live with it.